Hi guys, today we are on the second part of our discussion about the differential equation of a family of curves. And just like what we are doing sa ating previous videos about differential equations, we will be solving um, problems uh, involving family of curves. Okay, so we'll start with this problem right here. And let me read. Obtain the differential equation of all straight lines whose slope and x-intercept are equal. So, one thing that we need to take note in solving problems involving family of curves in differential equation are the given. So, as you can see here, we have a slope and the x-intercept as our given. And they are telling us that they are equal. So, why do we need to identify this? Because this will help us um, to identify what kind of or what equation of the line that we are going to use. As you know, there are different types of equations for straight lines, okay? And since we are given with x-intercept, so it will just be logical to use the um, straight line in the intercept form. And we already used that in our previous video. And we know that it is x over a plus y over b is equal to 1, okay? And we know that A is the x-intercept and B is the y-intercept, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is to take the derivative of our equation, okay? So the derivative of x over A is equal to 1 over A because the derivative of x is equal to 1 plus the derivative of y over b is y prime over b. And this is equal to the derivative of 1, which is a constant, so therefore, this is equal to 0. Okay? Now, if you remember, I told you on our previous video that when working with a straight line, we know that y prime is equal to the slope of our line, right? We are also writing this as m. Okay, so if we're going to isolate y prime, therefore, we will be able to identify the value of our slope. So therefore, our y prime is equal to, I'm going to transpose 1 over a to the right side of the equation. So I will have negative 1 over a times, um, I'm going to transpose the, our denominator b to the right side of the equation. Therefore, we will have b. So, therefore, our y prime is equal to negative b over a, which is the slope, okay? Now, we have to remember in our given that the slope and the x-intercept are equal. Therefore, y prime, which is the slope, which is also equal to m, is also equal to a. So, therefore, our y prime is equal to a. In that case, uh, we can write this as a is equal to negative b over a, okay? It's from here, but we substituted um, a for y prime. So, therefore, if we are going to isolate b, we will have b is equal to negative a squared, okay? So, we need to take note of this value. Now, we know the value of b, which is equal to negative a squared, okay? So, the next thing that we have to do is to identify what other equation we can use. Now, this time, we will be using the standard form of the equation of the line. And that is um, y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so b is our y-intercept. And m is our slope. Okay, and we know that our slope m is equal to y prime. Okay? And the y-intercept, we also calculated that already here. b. b is equal to negative a squared. So, our b is equal to negative a squared. So, if I'm going to substitute uh, these values here in our equation, uh, we will be able to get our differential equation, right? So, we have y is equal to our m, which is y prime, x plus b. Okay, so our b is equal to negative a squared. Okay, so still we have an arbitrary constant in here. But 
we are told that the slope is equal to the x-intercept. So in here, our x-intercept a is equal to y prime, right? So therefore, if I'm going to substitute that here, I will have y is equal to y prime x minus y prime squared. Right? So therefore, this is our differential equation. Here we have x y prime minus y prime squared is equal to y. So this is our final answer for this problem. Okay? So, as you can see, we are able to remove our arbitrary constants. Now, on our second problem, we need to obtain the differential equation of all straight lines whose slope and y-intercepts are equal. So, before, our given is that our slope and the x-intercept are equal. But now, it is our slope and the y-intercept which are equal. Okay? So, let me use our standard form for the equation of the line. So, in here we have y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so we are told that our slope m is equal to our y-intercept. So, this is straightforward now and will be very easy to solve. We're going to substitute our b to our slope dito sa ating um, equation okay so we will have y is equal to m which is equal to b so i will be substituting that here so i have bx plus b okay so i can factor out b in here so i have y is equal to b times x plus one so if i'm going to take the derivative of our equation i will be immediately eliminating our arbitrary constant b okay so, let me take the derivative of this. I will have y prime is equal to b times the derivative of x plus 1, which is 1. So, therefore, our y prime is equal to b. Okay, so now, with this equation that we have in here, I can substitute our b, which is y prime. So, therefore, I will have y is equal to y prime times x plus 1. Okay? So, this is our final answer here. As you can see, we do not have arbitrary constant dito sa ating equation. Okay, so let us have our last problem for today. So, in problem number 3, we need to obtain the differential equation of all straight lines with algebraic sum of the intercepts fixed as k. Okay? So, what do we mean by that? So, if you're going to use our line intercept form, we have x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. So, we are told that the algebraic sum of the intercepts fixed as k. So, our intercepts are a for the x-intercept and b is for the y-intercept. So, it means that the sum of a and b is equal to a fixed value which is k. Alright, so in order to solve this differential equation, um, we have to isolate one of our variables. So let's say b is equal to k minus a. Alright, so now we will be using this equation, our, x in, our intercept form of the straight line. Okay, so I have x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. And then, I would simplify this. I will have bx plus ya is equal to a times b. What I did is um, cross-multiplication, okay? So, okay, in order to help you out, I'm going to do that here. So, I have... I have um, x times b, then plus y times a over a times b is equal to 1. Okay, so therefore I have x times b plus y times a. Okay, over a times b, so I'm going to transpose that to the right side of the equation. I will have a, b in here. 
So this is what we have here. Bx plus ya is equal to ab. Okay? Now I'm going to substitute this one that we have here. B is equal to k minus a. So I'm going to substitute that here in our b. So I will have um, k minus a times x plus um, y a is equal to a times b which is k minus a. Okay, so I just substituted lahat ng value ng ating b as k minus a. Okay, so now I'm just going to distribute x to k minus a. No? So I will have kx minus um, xa plus ya is equal to a times k minus a. So in here, I'm going to factor out a because our terms here are both having a. So I will have kx minus a times x minus y. And this is equal to a k minus a. Right now, as you can see, if I take the derivative of our equation, um, I will be eliminating the right side. This will be equal to zero. And at the same time in here, um, I will left with a simplified form. Okay, so let me take the derivative of our first term kx the derivative of kx is k because the derivative of x is equal to 1 minus a our constant the derivative of x minus 1 k will be the derivative of x which is 1 minus the derivative of y which is y prime and this is equal to the derivative of a times k minus a which is a constant uh, this will be equal to 0 okay so, if I'm going to isolate A, I will have, um, going to transpose this to the right side in order to have positive A. So, A is equal to K over 1 minus Y prime. Okay? So, I just isolated itong A dito sa ating equation. Since we already know the value of A, uh, we can look back uh, on this equation right here. If we have B is equal to k minus a and our a is equal to k over 1 minus y prime so therefore this is equal to k minus a which is k over 1 minus y prime and then of course we can still simplify this we will have um, k times 1 minus y prime minus k over 1 minus y prime so i will have here um, k times 1 will be k minus y prime k minus k over 1 minus y prime. So, k minus k, this will be equal to 0. So, that means our b is going to be negative um, k y prime over 1 minus y prime. Okay? So, we already have the value of b in form of k and y. Now, let us go back here. As you can see, we have this equation here. Bx plus um, ya is equal to ab. So, I'm going to write that down. So, I have bx um, plus ay is equal to ab. Right. So, now I am going to substitute the value of b and the value of a dito sa ating equation. So, the value of b is negative k y prime over 1 minus y prime times x. So, we already done the first term. Plus our a, our a is equal to k over 1 minus y prime. So, I have k over 1 minus y prime times y is equal to our a times b. So, our a is k over 1 minus y prime times our b, which is negative k y prime over 1 minus y prime. Right. So, now let us simplify our answer. As you can see, all of our terms are having a denominator of 1 minus y prime. So, therefore, if I'm going to 
multiply both sides by 1 minus y prime, I will be able to cancel out this. And on the right side, I will have only 1, 1 over y prime as a denominator. Okay? So, let me do that. Uh, I will be multiplying both sides by 1 minus y prime. So, I will be multiplying this as 1 minus y prime. Okay, so doing that, I will have negative ky prime times x plus ky is equal to negative k times k will be k squared y prime over 1 minus y prime. Okay, so on this uh, equation that we have, as you can see, dito sa left side ng ating term, we still have k on both terms. So I can still simplify this by factoring out k. So let me do that by um, instead factoring out negative k. So therefore, I will have um, positive xy prime minus y. Okay? So I factor out negative k dito sa left side. And this will be equal to negative k squared y prime over 1 minus y prime. Okay, so now if I'm going to divide negative k uh, to negative k squared, so this will be cancelled out and I will have only 1 k squared, k in our right side. So I will have x y prime minus y is equal to k y prime over 1 minus y prime. Okay? So now I'm going to transpose 1 minus y prime to the left side of the equation. So I will have x y prime minus y times 1 minus y prime is equal to k y prime. Alright? So we can just transpose itong ating k y prime to the left side in order to have x y prime minus y times 1 minus y squared minus k y prime is equal to 0. So, finally, this is our answer for this problem. Okay? So, as you can see, we eliminated our arbitrary constant a and p. Okay? So, on the next video, we're going to solve differential equation of family of curves. Now, involving circles okay so with all of that and more i will see you in our next video to watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and stem subjects please subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin we are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering mathematics chemistry physics at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review so, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.